Okay, back on the Lotus. I'll get my help with me today. The reason I'm using Rylan today is we're gonna get, he's got much smaller hands than I do. All right, so here's the deal. There are two bolts on each side that I can't get. I can kind of, actually I can get to that one. Stick your hand in here and you'll feel like a bolt sticking up with a nut on it. That's a 10 millimeter. Yeah, I feel it. That one has to come off, it's 10 millimeter. So you gotta work it like this until the nut comes all the way off. There's another one up here. Okay, right there. So this one is right here. And the one that you just felt is right. To the right a little bit more. Right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and you know, so you're gonna go like that with it. Yep. Sure it's 10 millimeter? It seems a little big. Um, should be 10 millimeter. Not moving at all. No. Just... Here's the short, real short one. If you want to use that. Did you were you able to get any turns on this one? No, that one's like. Yeah. You're gonna have to be made out of thirty percent rubber. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that one. One off? Just about. Yep, there it is, right there. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one. Holy crap, that, that's impossible. That one's impossible. It's about ready to come off. There's one more bolt holding it in. When all your bolts look like this, this thing is your best friend. This thing's amazing. Um, the only way I'd be able to get this off or take this car apart the way I am is with this tool. Uh, Harbor Freight, 80 bucks. It's the bits that are um, important. If you buy the package of four Chief, you can get quite a bit of use out of them. Um, yeah, this, I don't see how you, I could do this without this. Uh, it's just next to impossible. All my bolts have to get ground off. Last one. Last one. Do you not want to come off? Woohoo! 
victory. Sweet. I'm so happy this came off with me not damaging these screens. This one has to be bent, but they can be taken off and uh, blasted and then powder coated or, or painted. Uh, just something else I don't need to buy. Yeah, it's intact, intact. This is a really good piece, really happy. Yeah, sweet. Uh, so up next is the bumper. Um, I'm not sure what's still holding on on this side. On this side, I know I have 10 millimeter nuts uh, on captive studs, which is good, but, but they are very, very difficult to get to. My nephew was helping me last week and even he wasn't able to get to them. So I'm not sure what we're doing there yet. <clears throat> So, uh, before this shroud comes off, I gotta free it up from uh, the oil cooler. And uh, th these oil coolers are in great shape. They really are from here down. It's just the top, um, the fitting uh, is so corroded, rusted on there that I, I could cut the hose off, but there's still a nut that attaches to the uh, to the line coming in over here, a big threaded nut. Maybe I can Dremel it off. If I Dremel it off, I could then drop the oil cooler. Um, and then maybe I could bring it to a radiator shop and, and have them clean up the threads and stuff. I don't know. Part of me just wants to rip this thing out, <clears throat> but it's in such good shape down here at least that I don't want to do that so that's my next task is figuring out how to get these off because the top sides look like that's the top of it this line I can cut off but down there where you see the white paint below that that below the white line is a a nut that holds the threaded shaft of the oil cooler in place and and that's what has to come off to remove it from the body even then though i don't think the hole's going to be big enough to pass um the hose through with it um so unless i can get the hose off and that nut off it's better probably just to cut them off i don't know not sure what to do there Here's the other side. Yeah, the other side's not any better. So what I'm gonna try first is to dremel off the, uh, the line itself, that black nut that's all corroded. Uh, if I can get two cuts on it, one close to each side, um, I think I can then get it off the oil cooler. And then if I can do the same with the, the nut below that white corrosion, <clears throat> that's what should free it up from the body. Not real optimistic, but uh, it's worth a shot because the oil cools are in such good shape. Let's find out.
such luck. see a, uh, a crack forming in the top of the bolt. That's a good sign. I'll let that sink. Penetrating oil. I mean, I've done it before, but it's... Now that I've opened up cuts on both sides of the nut, penetrating well, maybe it'll seep into the threads a little bit. Take a look at this side. <clears throat> this side is the one that was underwater, so... Thirty millimeter. So I'm emptying it out the bottom so that uh, on the top I can cut the line. If I cut the line, I might be able to get a wrench. No, it's not gonna work. Never mind. Oh, the cooler's out. Broken. Oh well. All right, this is ready to come down. Except the other oil cooler it's hung up on, um, and there's a there's a slim chance I can save that one. But uh, let's see if I can pull this down with the oil cooler in place, or does it pass through there? No, it might come down. If I can slide it. I think I'll give it a... I'll try a few more times to get it out. If it doesn't look like it's gonna work, I'll bust it out. One way or the other. And that one's off. I guess I'm not terribly disappointed. We're using 30 year old oil coolers. Just go with new. Lower tray off, finally. We're just about, we're hung up on something. It's decent shape, it's, it's just really dirty, but it's not cracked or anything like that. That's all good. Yeah. Uh, radiators, let's see. Yeah, next is the this bumper. 
which I've started. Um, there's uh, two nuts, two bolts that I have to get off over there. Uh, the lights will go with the unit. I don't know what that is. That's looks like a heat sensitive element. So probably the oil cooler temperature sensor. I don't know. So yeah, progress. Making a mess. That's what I'm doing. Making a mess. I'll I'll clean these threads up to see if this could be reused, but I might just be better off bringing this somewhere, having them make it out of stainless. Never have to worry about this again. All right, success. I uh, got the front bumper off. That was no fun whatsoever. Um, so, so these uh, captive bolts, um, they weren't too bad. You can get access to those. The two on the side, and especially these two on this side were really, really difficult. And then when I went to drop it down, it was still being hung up somewhere right around here and here and and with the well you can't get access to that so i didn't think there was a bolt but uh i actually uh, watched a video online of uh tavarish pulling the bumper off of uh, his white lotus before he got rid of it and i took a still screen snapshot of it and i found i could see that bolt and that one hanging down and the way you get access to those is from the bottom. There's, um, let's see. Ooh, we had animals in here. We might still have animals in here. Hmm. Anyway, uh, access to those bolts is through this hole from the bottom. Not real intuitive. Um, but yeah, it's off. Okay, on the costs, nothing new to add, so I'm still at 52, 40, 77. Thanks.